Welcome to G-Man Gaming and Reviews. Okay, so this is going to be us playing um, our mellow. Just going to check my videos to see who I've done. Okay, so Amber was the last. So we will... Let's have a look. New game. We're going to do the River. Now, River is from what I've read, one of those characters that in like tournaments or something is very heavily disliked because of her ability. Um, so essentially when she when she initiates a battle, um, she deals one damage to that target. Which means a lot of people actually think, well uh, from what I've read, some people think she's overpowered because when the king gets down to one damage, she can kill him without initiating a battle. Without actually having to fight him. Alright? Um, Apart from that though, she's sort of pretty well balanced, 4 fight, 5 body, uh, 4 wits, 3 spirit, um, so she's a pretty well balanced character, um, but yeah, now I haven't actually played with her very much, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure I've got all her rings, yeah, I, I got up, I played all the characters just to get up to level 2, alright, so, now, these are the rings for the wolf clan, this is the one that you start off with. Uh, Grant stealth on mountains day and night. I mean, not really that useful um, because, I mean, going on a, st a mountain costs you two AP, two action points. So normally you're trying to avoid mountains rather than go on them. I mean, uh, you do get one plus shield for being on them, but it's, normally it's a waste of action points unless you have no choice but to go on one. 2 plus magic for every kill in battle, I mean, can be interesting. Um, I mean, it's a very interesting ability, especially for a clan like the Wolf Clan that likes to fight. Um, I, love, I like finding a use for everything that you can find, but this is one of those things where um, I'm not sure that I would ever use that. 2 plus gold for every kill in battle, I actually like. Especially if you go around killing Banes. That's going to get you crap loads of gold, which will allow you to play into the wolf strategy of... Normally, that the fighters in the game can control territory better. Um, because they fight, and so they can take over more territory. Which gets them more gold. Which means these characters are better at defending territory. Which means this is actually really, really good. Um, especially at the beginning of the game, because you can just battle all the banes that you come across and battle everyone. And for every kill, you get two gold. This is the one that I normally use though. Ignoring the mountain movement penalty is a really, really big advantage. Because it means you're going to finish your quests way faster. Um, I've seen people taking this one quite a bit. Um, because it's like, once you get down to that 3, the 3 plus fight is massive. Um, you know, I, I don't like banking on an ability that, unless you've got crap, yeah, because it's, it's if you have 3 or, health, or less health. So, it doesn't, it's not, like, if it was an ability that was like, oh, when you were down to like 40% or something, then I would probably be a little bit more, better, I would like using it more, but it relies you to have on low health, to be on low health, so, so, yeah, so, I mean, it can help keep you alive, but, and it can help you go around battling, but I, I, I I've had this used against me and it's annoying, but, yeah, grant one plus six scout, or this one, in certain matchups can actually be really, really good. Because if you're playing against Twiss, you want this. Because if he gets down to low health, you can kill him. Um, I'm going to stick with this one because the ignore movement penalty is massive. And what are we going to take with her? I mean, four, 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 three is a pretty good. Is it the three spirit is good enough that you can use most spells? Um, the four wits and the four—it's a pretty decent stat line. Um, what am I gonna do with her? Hmm. Probably take this uh, because she's got the three spirit. Which means you're gonna have at least three explode, three explodes, and having and turning these. This is one of my favorites for characters who've got lot, who've got pretty high wits, because it means that um, 
they can take these normally crappy cards that are useless and actually make use of them. Because unless you corrupt, rot doesn't help. Rot, rot doesn't help you. It just counts as a miss. So I'm gonna take this. Um, And then we're going to select. Right, we're going to save the loadout. And click select. Okay. Uh, we've got Thane, Fighter. This is a very interesting loadout um, of characters because these are mostly fighters. I think I might replace. Barnaby. Uh, let's reroll all heroes. That's better. One fighter, one spellcaster, and twist, which is just the annoying character. Now, normally, if I was playing like to win, or, or I was playing to, if I wasn't just demonstrating the character, um, I would set these all up to be harder. But it's just easy to play a multiplayer match. Good thing you can still actually find lots of multiplayer games for this. Um, okay, so we click ready. And we start with, uh, we've got the four gold. Ooh, this is actually... Now, at the beginning of the game, you've got to decide what sort of victory you're going to go for. Fighters, normally with spellcasters, the two ones that you want to be going for are Rot and Spirit Stones. Right? You can go for Prestige. But it's harder for a spellcaster to get prestige because a spellcaster isn't going to be fighting. Um, whereas it's easier for the fighters in the game to get prestige. Okay, the characters that are better at fighting. Because they can battle the other characters to get prestige and they can kill Banes to get prestige. Right? Um, but fighters generally... I think the other thing is as well as the character... The, uh, the spellcasters... Um, are going to be able to play... There's a spell card that allows you to get your hands on a, on a spirit stone. You will cast it. So it's, you've got to have six magic to cast it, though. And unless you've got, like, five magic or something close, or some way of getting more, which the spellcaster clans, like the bear clan, generally have better ways of getting magic, um, you, you kind of don't want to be going for that unless you just end up doing it. Like, if you end up doing it along the way, it's fine, but you can't really bank on it. Um, so actually for me, because I've got the good fight, I've got the fight of four, this is actually really, really good. Um, I could go for this, but not really interested in the extra magic for this character. So I'm going to go after the royal shield. I'm going to be a fighter character in this. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now I can use that in battle, thanks to the harmonized thing. That'll get me extra cards. So this is why having just the number three of spirits is actually very, very good. So I'm going to go like this. I don't have... Um, I'm going to use this card to get the extra wits. Play that. Lucky I got the extra wits. And where's the nearest mountain? That was a nasty, nasty turn of events. Or, or was it a good turn of events? Where's the nearest mountain? Ah, oh, that was nasty. That was really, really nasty. That was your. Oh, that was not. I, I, I should have been. I should have been more scared 
of that card that I should have. I was, uh, yeah, that was not good. But the extra wits means that I'm going to be able to draw another card. So I'm actually going to take... I'm going to play that. Play that. If I go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I don't want to dilly dally, so I would have gone. I would have taken the dungeon route, the dungeon route, but I don't want to dilly dally. So I've already wasted enough time. Um. So let's have a look. Who do we want to steal cards from? We will steal a card from her. Way out of range. Ah, damn, who's in my range? So one annoying thing about not having eye magic is... Those characters can get prestige, except she's going to die now because she moved into a swamp. Very, very dumb on the AI's part. But uh, as you guys saw in, I think, the Mercuria video, if the AI gets the right collection of things, they can be almost devastating. And you'll notice that they got five plus, that Gore got five plus magic, which... Ooh, what treasure card? I don't want to know what treasure card they got. They haven't played it yet. Or have they? No, they haven't played it yet. By my name, take heed. Now, that actually wasn't that bad, actually, because I didn't want those cards anyway. They weren't really that useful for me, so... Swapping the cards was actually really, really good. Um... That I want to keep to the late game. Uh, one spell. Ooh, I am Pike. Brilliant. And we play the spell because there's no reason not to. We go here. Royal Shield. 40% chance. Good thing I got the extra health. And that sucked. I didn't get it, but... Now, what do we want to do? <sighs> I want to move... Ah, uh, that's right. Uh, 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 depending on where I have to go, do I want to get gold or do I want to heal? Well, I'm gonna get extra. I'm gonna get extra. I might as well explore it because I'm gonna get extra gold. So now we have a quest. Ooh, I would go after the blacksmith. That would actually be very useful for me. But the odds of me getting it with only three magic are very unlikely. I'm gonna go after this. Normally, I would have really loved the blacksmith um, because I'm going to be a fighter, so I'm probably going to have lots of sword cards. Um, one of the things about fighters is that they generally have higher health than the characters that aren't, except for the bear clan. But um, so the fighters are going to be rolling lots of dice, so they're going to be rolling a lot of more defense dice because they're by the effect of the, the fact of the fact that they're rolling more dice. I am Pike again. And one magic. Ooh, okay. 
Okay. Now where are we gonna go? Which way? Now, one of the things to note about dungeons is that at night, you are more likely to get a bane from a dungeon than you are... You're more likely to get a bane showing up. So every time you go to these dungeon tiles, there's an auto-explore, right? Automatic explore. You can get a bane which will fight you, you can get treasure, you can get gold, you can get... It can teleport you, you can, and there's sometimes these random events as well. Um, now, I'm actually going to go for the one more spirit, actually. Um, if I, depending on what I get. I'm, I'm starting to regret that I didn't go for it. Um... Like, uh, like, I like to have my characters be balanced. Um, I mean, you can't just go for crap loads of fight. Um, but... And, ooh, they've already got... So pay attention, these are trickery perils. Which means now I know that these ones use wits. It said trickery perils and not spirit perils. Now, one of the advantages of having the... the Celestite ring that I have, as you can see here, is that... Uh, what am I going to do? I suppose we won't worry about... Um, items anymore. I mean, one plus sword, first sword, two swords gain pierce, plus the, yeah, I think I'm, uh, I've got, I think I've got to so many swords, I'm, I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Spirit strike, cost three. Pretty useful. So I take one damage for that. Um, I only cost me one to move there. Which is very, very useful, and I wouldn't have been able to have made this this turn if I didn't actually go after that. So I'm going to go after this one as well. One minus health is worth a 40% chance. Uh, my favorite selection wouldn't have done it anyway. Not very lucky with this. Not very lucky, but just enough magic to get me some prestige. And yes, baby! That spell always... Ooh, I don't like that. I actually should have killed Gore. Ah, uh, he wouldn't have been enraged to do it anyway. I don't... You don't want him getting to four spirit stones? See, I could go for the extra fight, but... It's kind of useless. I don't. The spy master's sort of useful, but it's not. I, I'm go, I want to get the royal shield. I 100% want to get that royal shield. Why? Because that. Why? Because that royal shield is very, very powerful for a character. That and the extra magic will allow me to cast most spells. Because most spells don't cost more than four. Oh, he moved! Oh, thank you that the computer is dumb. Oh, okay, what's she got? Hand cannons, two plus swords. Pretty good. Better than Helm and the, stra and the Stranger. This is untouchable with by battle until you. Oh, actually, I've got Pierce. If he gets down to two health, I should be able to kill him. Let's have a look here. 
Now you'll notice I haven't been taking trickery cards. Trickery cards are great when you've got a lot of um I, think I might take one. And select one card to fill your hand. Useless. Kind of do not want to fight right her right now. She's probably got the the big advantage over me. Um, probably gonna retreat in the other direction. What ring does she have? And she took Celeste. Ah, uh, no, that's Moonstone. Two plus magic for every kill. Could go here and then here, but I don't know what that entails, and I have only got three life. How much gold do the other heroes have? This is worth it. It's worth playing it. For two minus, for one minus prestige, that was a great strategy card. That extra gold is going to really come in handy. Alright, we're going to go here. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't really have anything that good. I've got common items, so I mean... It, it, oh, and I got it anyway. That was lucky. And then one to move here. And then one to move here. Give me some good stuff, baby. And I... Oh! Yes! Ah, uh, actually... Let's have a look. Take that. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, this card I'm going to keep till the very end, and I'm not going to equip it until the very end. Okay, until I'm ready to get in the castle. And one plus spirit, one plus magic at dawn. This is actually going to be very good combined with, um... This. Combined... Well, that item on its own wouldn't have been very... This, uh, this, this... This spirit, one plus spirit, two plus magic dawn is, is a brilliant card. Is a brilliant treasure card. When combined with the right spellcaster. When you get up to four, that's when it's useful because it means you can potentially cast spells that cost six. Because you can, you get four at night and then another two during dawn. So I'm not really going to bother with um, defensive items anymore. I'm just going to, but, ooh, that's going to get me more gold. And one of these. Okay, so we will... Play, play this here, and who are we going to blackmail? Gore is almost dead, so I don't want to... I'm going to blackmail Twist, because nobody's going to attack him, because of the fact that... And we're going to play... Oh, wait a minute. Is that Wits? No, that's Spirit. Okay, I'm going to play this. Because i got to get rid of it. And I definitely do not want to attack Twist now. Because Twist has the ability that if you attack them... That one plus fight was very in hand... was very handy. Play a sword.
That's ooh, who did the damage, baby? You did too, but I almost killed you. Yeah, you're dead. You do it again. Oh, but crap, I'm almost dead. I'm just like, I gotta get there. I can get there. You want to keep an eye on how many spirit stones everyone's got. Once they get to three, you should really, really worry. Stats. Five of eight. That's a twist I've never seen before. I've seen guys on how to do a rock twist, but um, not like that. And I need to kill twists. And they die. And they get one rock. Gonna fill our hand with three cards. Oh wait, I should have gotten a, a magic card. Whoa, I got that anyway. Ooh, I do not want the rot, but. I'm probably going to get rid of it anyway, even if I get it. It's not going to be a problem. Ah, oh, I should have gone one after the one I normally go. Now. I do not want... Okay, now with this though, I can actually... Wait, who has followers? Magna has followers. Gore has followers. If you play this beheaded to this character... Oh, actually, no. I think it still works. Magna has followers. Where's Magna? Oh, I can't do anything to him. Uh, what does... I'm pretty sure Twist has a follower. No. And there's Gore. Where's Gore? Ah, can't do anything to them. Target Explode Pool is unlimited until next turn. I'm going to play this on myself. Royal Banner. I'm not really interested in the Royal Banner. Uh, this will actually come in handy. I, of, all, of, the, of these options, it's probably the best one. The extra fight's going to be useful for me, anyway. That was brilliant. I'm happy that that happened. Wait. Well, no, I'm not because the clan. Ah, uh, I was gonna get gold. Perfect. It is so. Okay, so we're gonna play this. Oh, I didn't want. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, I'm not corrupted. I can use that in battle. I need to go through the magic item deck now. So we're gonna go here and then here.
and this comes out, and they're gonna fight. Now because I've got that harmonized thing, and I've got unlimited Ball shields. Not really gonna affect me that much. Um, because... Oh no. The 2 plus rot is pretty bad, but because I'm playing river I can still win this. All I gotta do is wait for the... But this is the... The, pro, the rot plus 2 was pretty bad. Um... is really really useful that I like so boom boom salvation baby that gives that that gives you that gets rid of your rot. That couldn't have come more handy. If that's a random encounter, uh, I probably should have uh, said my. So salvation gives you. Um, that's a random encounter. Salvation gives you clears your rot. Stone gives you a spirit stone, and scythe gives you like a item. But I not really that useful for one of my characters so that's just one of the random items that can appear in this game um, there's one in the forest there's one in um, I think there's also one in, the, one in the forest one in the dungeon that that thing can only happen in a dungeon at night. it's a random event so it ha can happen anytime you go into a dungeon at night and there is twist doing damage now, I actually am in, am in a very good position to win this once I, um... That's... Yes, that will do nicely. Now, that, what that does is that creates a banish card, a banish trap. So if you go on it, it'll transport you to the opposite side of the map. So it's very, very useful. You can actually use it to your advantage if you know where you're going. Yeah, I really don't want to gain the rot back again. I'm going to use that as a... That's mine. Play the hero or dungeon. I do not want to gain back that rot. 100%. This can be, this, this is actually... Alright, so now I think we're on quest 4. Yep, the next quest is going to take us right into the heart of the king. Of the king. So 
So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to equip the Iron Pike once I get closer to actual Iron Pike. Yeah, I'm actually going to equip the Iron Pike and the... Because the two swords are going to gain pierce. Which is kind of what I... I'm going to equip the Iron Pike and the heavy armor once I get to the palace. We're gonna have to attack attack Gore. What's Gore got? One plus shield, one plus diaper for recruited follower. They take one damage, and we end up in combat. That's why having lots of fight dice is very, very useful. Really not that helpful at that point. Ooh, okay. So I'm going to get at least one gold. They stayed away from me. I'm not going to be able to equip both the iron pike and the, the thing. So I'm going to equip... One by my name, take heed. Ah, oh, crap, that's annoying. I didn't want that to happen. That sucks. I could go for the hot rot victory. But that'll give the king one extra die against me. And I'm in a very solid position here. Um, or do I want to go for it? I'm not going to win on prestige anyway. I don't want to go down any more health. I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. They're going to have to move me out, so that if they don't have any spells to attack me... 
I'm gonna have crap loads of shields. Magic came in handy, like massively in handy. Just enough to cast both those spells. Alright, so I attack now. They do it down to one. And I'm gonna win this no matter what. As long as I stay alive, because I've got the one sword with the pierce, which is why that iron pike came in handy, which is why I kept it. Yes, that's what's going to kill the king. Now, as long as I don't roll too many bad things... Nah, I've got this in the bag. There's the pierce, because it goes through defense no matter what. Now I win. Oh, I only got um four things. No, Norm two things. Normally I only I get the four, four accolades or something like that. All right. Well, this was uh, G-Man Gaming and Reviews. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and like. All right, thank you. Bye.